Hey, put that down. It's not a toy, and you's not Zorro. But Jimmy's always wanted his own scepter. Yes, well, I'll buy you a play one when we get home, if we ever get home. But do as I say, Timmy. Jimmy thought I would help Jimmy and Tubby get out of the pit before Norma comes back. And it's so shiny. Hey, don't you dare pick that up again. That is warlock property, and 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 if it falls into the wrong hands, it could destroy us and this entire island. Don't worry, Father. I'll ditch the brats and get back to our friends in the pit where I've trapped them. No need to rush, Buttercup. You don't want to raise others' suspicions. Act like one of them. Look for the blonde girl. There'll be plenty of time to kill them later. Oh, you are so honest, Abby. Always know just what to do. Look, I could have sworn Charity's voice came from this direction. I mean, where could she have gotten to so quickly? You got me, but there's no sign of her over that way. Damn it! This is all your fault. Hey, excuse me. I'm to blame because my cousin's a certified space cadet. She probably just wandered off in response to some kind of alien transmission from above or something. You purposely distracted Reese while he was supposed to be watching Charity for Miguel. Reese, can you just hold me, please? Just hold me. Oh, my sweet Kay. Mm. How's that, my sweet? Perfect. Mm. Well, I can't help it if Reese finds me attractive. You used him, Kay, like you use everyone else who gets in your way. I, I swear, Charity dies because of what you did. I'm not covering for you. I'm going to tell everyone. How you scheme to make that old island legend come true all over again, so that Charity will die and you will end up with Miguel. It's just pure evil, Kay. Pure evil. How could she have just disappeared? Charity! Charity, where are you? Her name is Peggy, and she packs quite a wallop. Unpredictable, nearly impossible to track this one. We can only hope she runs out of steam before she does any more damage. But I got to tell you, it doesn't look good. Usually these storms weaken a little as they move out to sea, but not this one. She's actually picking up steam, and our worst fears could be realized if she were to converge with two rather significant weather fronts in that area. For those of you who have not been evacuated for one reason or another, we beseech you. Stay in your homes. Board your windows and doors until Peggy passes. And for anyone caught off guard out at sea without enough time to make it to land, may God have mercy on your soul. Yeah, you forget about Hurricane Peggy. You're gonna have to deal with Hurricane Rebecca once she finds out it's too late to become the next Mrs. Julian Crane. No, it's her own fault if she gets upset. I told her to stay in harmony. I'd marry her once I got home. Why, well, no. It was good she didn't trust you. The second you got your divorce from Ivy, you went off and married little Teresa. I let Rebecca kick up a storm, and she finds out it'll be worth it. 
Spending a lifetime of bliss married to a baby doll half my age. Half? <laughs> Don't you wish, you old lecher? And doesn't baby doll think you're going to dissolve this farce of a marriage? Well, that was before Ethan was lost at sea. I'd be crazy to let Teresa go now. She's my blushing bride, and I'm going to keep it that way. Rebecca? Gwen? What are you guys doing here? Well, we might ask the same of you. What are you and Whitney looking at? Yes. Do let us see. There's nothing I like better than a nice game of show and tell. Here it comes! We're all gonna die! We're not gonna die today. We have to save Sheridan. Timmy thinks this. Timmy thinks that. Well, I think I'm smarter than to trust someone whose brains are made from cotton batting. But Timmy knows what to do with the scepter. Huh? Remember the spell Timmy cast in Hecuba's old lair underneath the crane mansion? Uh, as if I could forget. <laughs> if Timmy was able to beam Julian down here, then he should definitely be able to beam... Him and his princess back up to the party. This isn't an episode of Star Trek, you know. You're out of your league. And you're lucky that your antics didn't get us into any more trouble than they did. Now, put that wand down this instant. I'm the one who's going to get us out of here. Hold on a second, Tabby. Let Timmy try one more thing. Acubus Lairs is as nice as a house. But Tabby needs to get out of here as quick as a mouse. No, what you've done to me. I'll never be able to view the chaos upstairs. was a complete disaster and not one I'm about to let you repeat. Who wishes this princess had more faith in him? No, oh, don't pout, Timmy. This scepter is a million times more powerful than Hecuba's old wand. The warlocks use it as their primary tool of destruction. It possesses more evil than your tiny pea brain could ever fathom. Anyone who gets close to the warlocks or even gets close to their most prized possessions risks their wrath and invites certain death. Is that what you want, Timmy? Is it? Charity! Charity, answer me! Charity, where are you? Happy Kay? Is this your idea of loving someone? Look how much pain you're causing, Miguel. For the last time, Simone, I'm not causing anything. Okay, I am not my cousin's keeper, and it is not my fault that she's a bona fide nutcase whose idea of having a good time is having premonitions and sleepwalking. If something happens to Charity tonight, it's her own fault, not mine. Where could she be? I wish I knew what to tell you, buddy. Charity!
a way to refill. But, sir, the hurricane... I said I would like another drink. Yes? Yes, Mr. Craig. Of course, Rebecca will be devastated at losing me, but one must respect the sanctity of one's marriage, mustn't one? Especially when one is married to such a ripe nymphette. Oh, you are a piece of work, Julian. I'm the luckiest man alive now that I've made the tempting Teresa my bride. Well, we'll see how your luck holds out when Rebecca finds she's been discarded for a girl younger than her own daughter. I mean, from the looks of the broad, it's not going to be pretty. <clears throat> Here you are, Mr. Crane. Why don't you want us to see the photograph, Teresa? What are you trying to hide? It just isn't anything that you guys would be interested in, really. And then why do you look like a Bambi caught in the headlights? Let us see what you have there. Oh, my, you really don't want us to see it. That's not it at all, Mrs. Hotchkiss. Teresa's just a little upset right now. She's worried about Ethan, you know, out at sea in the hurricane. Well, aren't we all? But while we're waiting to get some kind of news, well, we might as well amuse ourselves as best we can. So show us the picture, Teresa. Now. certain to have been lost at sea. There's no reason on earth that I should have known my marriage to Teresa. I'm going to stay married to my nubile young bride, and Rebecca's just going to have to lump it. Well, like I said, she just doesn't look like the type that takes rejection very well. I can handle Rebecca. What's she going to do about it? Anyway, Teresa and I are legally married, and that's the way it's going to stay. You have got more chutzpah than brains. I mean, maybe you can't deal with Rebecca. But what about Teresa's brawny older brother? He's a cop, isn't he? Luis was lost in the hurricane along with Ethan. What? Wait, how can you be so sure about that? What if, what if he makes his way back and then he finds out that you've married his younger sister? I don't care how weak and how battered he is by the storm, he's going to rip your head off and he's going to use it for a punch. Enough stalling, Teresa. Gwen and I want to see what you're hiding. Oh, leave her alone, Mrs. Hotchkiss. This is Teresa's personal property. She doesn't have to show you anything. Uh, stay out of it. I'm not taking no for an answer. You know, Mother, just forget about the picture. What I want to know is how Teresa could let Ethan go out in such a ferocious hurricane when she claims that she's in love with him. I do love Ethan, Gwen. And I tried to stop him and Luis and Chad, but they wouldn't listen to me. They insisted on going to search for Sheridan. Yeah, well, Sheridan is my best friend, but I wouldn't put the life of the man I love at risk. He could die because of you. I hope you're happy. I'm scared to death. Wedding photos. How very interesting. Oh, my God. Are you and Ethan already married? Get 
Elizabeth, hey! Oh, I don't think so, Teresa. Now that I know what's in here, I'm especially interested in seeing. Besides, don't you know that everybody just loves looking at wedding photos? What's this? Oh, how convenient. An all-day, all-night wedding chapel right here on the resort premises. It's a little tacky, but I've seen worse. Oh, this must be the justice of the peace. Wait a minute, isn't this the guy I saw you talking to earlier? He officiated at your wedding to Ethan, didn't he? Don't worry, Gwen. We're about to find the truth out for ourselves, anyway. Eyewitness accounts are confirming what our satellite pictures have been telling us. Hurricane Peggy is in a class by herself. She is the biggest storm to hit these islands in years. We've even had reports of a huge rogue wave out at sea swallowing up everything in its path. Not our waves again, got nothing on you, Julian. This large, you're going to have you are the rogue meister around here. Of rain. You could have a At least until Rebecca takes you down, and that's your two. <laughs> Give that back. It's mine. Oh, I don't think so, Teresa. Bunny and I are very anxious to find out just who married whom. Yeah, these can't be pictures of you and Ethan getting married because you couldn't have gotten him to marry you already. Just steal yourself, sweetheart. I wouldn't put anything past Miss Thing there. Besides, this resort specializes in spur-of-the-moment weddings. That's the whole reason I flew down here. So I could marry Julian the minute his divorce from Ivy was final. Is that why you're here, Teresa? What? You and Ethan. Were you hoping to have a, a quickie wedding with Ethan? No, not at all. You know, it's none of your business why Teresa came down here, Rebecca. Oh, but I think it is. And in spite of your best efforts, I'm going to find out why. This uh, little secret the two of you have, it's about to go public. Now give me your word that you won't touch that scepter again. Do you promise? Do you just wish if you could do something to help charity? Charity? Oh! all you can think about. Here we are, trapped in this cooking pit, waiting for Norma to come back and roast our rumps. And all you're worried about is Miss Namby Pamby Charity. But if Charity's dress was brought on by the Warlocks, then she could be in trouble too. Not as much trouble as we're in, Toots. Now just get over it. But Timmy still thinks the scepter is... Timmy and Tabby's only hope. Now, forget the damn scepter, will you? It, it, it's more deadly than any gun or a knife or even axe blade. Princess is a professional. She can use these things. Yes, but without my full powers, Timmy, I'm not sure that even I could handle it. But if Norma comes back... I will be sliced to die, stand or baked to a crisp, right? <laughs> Then princess has to try and save Timmy and princess. I'm afraid, Timmy. The last time I tried to do something on this island, it completely backfired. I gave the wrong scepters to the warlocks. And, and, and they've been trying to pay me back ever since. Oh, oh, it was terrible. I was only trying to help. And, 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 and it completely backfired. I single-handedly undermined their entire scheme to destroy mankind. I mean, if I so much as just touch that scepter, I might be blown to kingdom come. But if Princess doesn't even try, then no will come back and do something just as bad. Princess, please save Timmy. We would have been picked up by a rescue boat if you hadn't poured water all over the firewood so it wouldn't light. Simone, don't you dare tell Reese, Jessica, or Miguel that I did that. 
What's the difference what they know now, Kay? Charity's lost. We're stranded. And I think we're all going to die on this awful island. We're never going to make it home thanks to you. Now how does someone just vanish into thin air? Maybe we missed something. Maybe her voice was really coming from the woods over there. I don't think so. You know, I heard Charity's voice coming from right here. to us, Charity. We have so much to tell you. So many secrets to tell. We can help you. We can help you save the Rizzo. And Sheridan. And Louis. Come to us, Charity. Come to us, Charity. Charity. Come. Yes. yes. <laughs> Join us. Join, Join us in the fire. fire. You want to know the fate of your family and friends, don't you? Yes, I want to know. We will tell you of the great danger your aunt and uncle face in their marriage. I thought they were through the bad times. There is more to come. Much more. Things that will tear them apart. Come into the cave, and we will tell you everything. Why can't you tell me from here? No one else can know. Only you. Only you have the power to help us. Draw closer, and we will tell you everything. Everything. Closer. Charity. No, please, no. No. Charity's here. She will help us. And then... She, she and her, her friends, friends will die! die. <laughs> <laughs> is Timmy and Tabby's only hope. If Princess doesn't do something fast, then Norma will come back and cook Timmy and Tabby for dinner. Well, I don't think she'll eat us. On second thoughts, I wouldn't count on that. <sighs> Timmy doesn't want to be boiled, broiled, baked, or roasted. Timmy's happy at room temperature. All right, you've convinced me nothing for it but to do it. Then Princess will use the scepter to help Timmy and Debbie escape? I'll try. Let's just hope I don't explode into a thousand pieces the instant I touch it. Timmy also too. Maybe she tripped and fell and she's lying unconscious somewhere. We've looked all around here, Miguel. Well, then we'll look again. Are you with me or not? Of course we are. Charity predicted we were all doomed, and I'm afraid she's right. Well, lots of Charity's predictions have been wrong. Well, I'm afraid this one is not going to be. So why would you just stop it? Nothing's going to happen to any of us. We're just, we're going to get rescued soon enough. Just not until Miguel realizes that I'm the girl he loves. You just... Later. I gotta go check on my man. 
I hope this obsession of yours doesn't kill all of us, Kay. It's, it's time, time Charity. Charity. First you'll help us, and then you'll die. 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 Trust me, I have Rebecca wrapped around my little finger. Once I tell her that I'm married to Teresa, she'll just have to accept it. Perhaps I'll even award her a condolence prize and let her be my sometimes mistress. <laughs> oh, you know, I don't know whether you are deluded for the most arrogant son of a gun that I've ever met, but Rebecca Hotchkiss doesn't seem to me the condolence prize type. That one she's been counting on becoming the next Mrs. Julian Crane after you finally legally extricated yourself from Ivy. Well, then she should have trotted herself down here a bit sooner, don't you think? Early bird catches the worm and all that? You got that one right. Teresa sure caught herself some worm. <laughs> You're just jealous because I'm married to the most delectable little morsel around. It's about time my luck changed. I've had a bad year of it, you know. Maybe finding out Ethan wasn't really your son? Well, that and a few other family matters. But that's all changed now. I'm starting to get that crane swagger back in my step. Marrying Teresa's going to be the beginning of a brand new life for me. That is mine. Give it back to me. Forget it, Teresa. Well, it sounds like your new wife and your ex-fiancé are having a bit of a tiff. You better get yourself over there. I can't wait to see this mysterious photo. <sighs> Don't, Mother. Why on earth not? Aren't you curious to see what Teresa's been trying so hard to hide from us? No, not if it's pictures of her marrying Ethan. I can't, I can't look at pictures of their wedding. What is going on? Yeah, you ladies all the way across the lobby. Rebecca over here stole Teresa's personal property right out of her hands. I just want to see what's in this envelope. My guess, it's a photo of her wedding to Ethan. Well, it's not bloody like it. They didn't get married. Are you sure? Fine, fine, positive. <laughs> well, I, I was so certain. Well, that's not what the picture's of, and what, what is it? Well, I should understand what all the fuss is about. Just take it out and look at it, why don't you? Uh, thank you, Julian. I knew you'd take my side on this. Jimmy, I believe you can. Oh, I'm all right. Nothing happened to me. <laughs> yeah! Tell the wolf! Tell the wolf! Now, tell the can you scepter to help Jimmy and Debbie escape before Norma comes back. Tell the cast the spell to end all spells. I'll do my best, lad. <sighs> Yo, Norma. Where are you going to? Oh, uh, I just thought I'd check the surrounding area again, see if there's any sign of the blonde girl. Well, thanks, but we've already checked this area pretty well. How about you stick close? Oh. Don't want anybody else getting lost. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Father. I know you don't want to hear another lame excuse. Ah, 
Oh, don't be so hard on yourself, Buttercup. You'll kill Timmy and Tabitha when the opportunity presents itself. I have complete faith in you. Thank you, Father. You don't know how much having your trust means to me. I won't let you down. I promise. Charity! Miguel, we'll find her. Okay, I know we will. Thanks, Kay. I hope you're right. Hey, I know you guys think I'm whacked about Tabitha, but you've got to admit, there is something weird going on around here. Yeah, well, what's that got to do with Tabitha? Doesn't anyone else find it a little peculiar that Tabitha comes up missing at the same time that we can't find Charity? I'm telling you, that woman is a witch. I never took you seriously before, Reese, but maybe you're right. I mean, so many strange things have been happening since we've been here. Including Charity's premonitions getting stronger. That's what I keep trying to tell Kay. And I keep trying to tell you not to be such a nervous Nelly. Charity has premonitions all the time. A lot of them aren't even true, right, Miguel? Not all of them. You know, but I'm really worried about the one she's been having here, especially since she's lost. Well, that could just be a coincidence. I mean, she but could what's just that? be conjuring... It's a piece of Charity's shirt. Look, she's got to be around here somewhere. Charity? Charity, where are you? You will, you will help, help us, us charity. charity. You, you will, will help, help us achieve, achieve our ends. You will help us, Charity. You, you will, will help, help us achieve our ends. You will help us, Charity. You will help us achieve our ends. Oh, give me what? How dare you? You give me that. What's the matter with all of you? Julian. There are pictures of you and Teresa getting married in this envelope. Good grief. I don't recall a photographer being at the ceremony, do you? Don't look at me. I mean, I don't even remember marrying you. Okay, it doesn't matter now. If Rebecca sees these, she's going to know everything. You need to make sure Rebecca does not see the pictures in these envelopes, Mr. Crane. Stinky! <laughs> Mr. Crane, get her! What's the difference? She's going to find out sooner or later anyway. Gargoyle and ghoul, weasel and mole, free Timmy and Tabby from this hellish hole. Oh, wow. I knew it wouldn't work. Don't give up, Princess. It's Timmy and Tabby's only hope. <sighs> Weapon of old, scepter of pain. Let Timmy and Tabitha see home once again. Oh, it's no use, Timmy. Oh, Norma's gonna kill us. Try again, Tabby. One more time. Timmy knows his princess can do it. If you insist. <sighs> Powers of evil. Kibbles and bits. Spare us our lives. Get us out of this pit. Nervous father, I want to get back to Timmy and Tabitha. Don't rush off, Norma. You don't want the kids to wonder where you're going. Yes, father. I could slowly slink away. Then when I'm back at the pit, Timmy and Tabitha will die a slow and painful death. Charity! Charity, where are you? Hey, check this out. What is it? This piece of charity shirt. It didn't just get snagged on the rock. It's like it's like it's embedded in there. Weird, huh? 
How does this shirt get stuck like that? Look, what difference does it make? I just want to find her. Charity! Charity! Charity has the power! Use your power to help us, Charity. Use your powers for us. I will help you. I will use my powers to help you. Forget it, Teresa. I want to see what you've been hiding. It's in the envelope. Wedding pictures of me and my lovely bride. Why do you want Rebecca to see those? Well, why not? It'll spare me the unpleasantness of having to break the news to her myself. No, no, wait, wait. I, 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 I don't think you've thought this through properly. It's not like... The broad gets dumped, and you get on the next available flight to avoid her wrath. The hurricane has made it impossible for anyone to get off the island. Now, you might get stuck here with your new wife and your scorned ex fiance for days to come. To God, I had considered that. <laughs> uh, Becca, perhaps you should reconsider. Uh, this is, after all, Teresa's personal property. You're doing it again. You're rushing to Teresa's defense. What's going on here, Julian? I'm waiting, Julian. What's going on between you and Teresa? <laughs>